Hello to my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who this is, Mr. Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nieves, coming back at you with another phenomenal video. So my topic today is gonna be about understand your journey. I know I talked about, like you know, I touched base on this before, but I just really want people to understand what I mean about understand your journey. You know what I'm saying? Understanding your journey is basically. Everybody's on their own spiritual walk with God. Everybody's on their own journey in their life within themselves with understanding, growing, healing, right? So understanding your journey is basically you being aligned more with, with what that is for you. You know, if it's like becoming, I don't know, a doctor, a nurse, starting businesses, um, charity organizations, in your job, whatever that may be, right? Understanding your specific journey that okay god is calling me to do this so i must align myself with this now now i have to start doing what is required for me to achieve this new goal in my life you know what i'm saying this new aspect in my life you know like for me like you know i moved states and i started you know the next chapter in my life you know next chapter of experience more of the world being part of my other side of the family getting to know them understanding that journey like my journey this is the next journey you know so my your journey could be many different things you know what i'm saying but for me it was like this is part of my next journey the next chapter of my life so you know because i always wanted to move to where i'm at now but for some reason i was like i dabble i dibble dabble because i guess out of like questioning or not really having that confidence or that trust in god that this is the next step and sometimes we hinder our own growth when we don't when we don't walk by confidence you know by that conviction that you know, this is okay this is where for you to go but sometimes we just want to be making sure that where we going in life that is where we ultimately want to be you know what i'm saying so sometimes people either uh, oh my god excuse me sorry about that <laughs> lord have mercy i was just drinking some water you know you know, sometimes people be afraid to, you know, begin that journey or whatever this guy is calling them to do because they're afraid or they just don't know or have the know-how. But sometimes you, you will learn as you go, you know. The more you trust God, the more he will reveal the right things to you at the right time. You just have to trust them. Sometimes that's really hard for people because they haven't learned how to trust themselves, their worth, their um, importance, what they bring, you know, and all these things within yourself. That's why there's a lack of trust when it comes to trusting someone else or, you know, a relationship or starting new or a new job, a new journey, moving, whatever it may be for you. So that's what I mean. Sometimes it may live like that. So for me, it was like, you know, move to start the next journey, the next chapter of my beautiful life. And then I was like, all right, God, you know, if this is what you keep putting in my heart and my mind then i'm i'm just gonna trust you you know i'm just gonna do what i gotta do you know because at the end of the day you have to walk in that unknown you have to walk you have to walk in that what's called that in the unknown outside your comfort zone to find beauty you know to find the next level of your beauty the next level of your growth the next level of your success you get what i'm saying so this is my next journey so that's what i mean understanding your journey and what that looks like for you and knowing exactly what state what steps to take who to talk to, who to mingle with, what um, actions you should be taking. And all this comes with really understanding God and what he's telling you to do. And, you know, um, utilizing your resources and really putting putting the action behind it so you can begin to get where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? So, and for me, you know, moving out here, you know, was a big thing for me. You know, I gained more clarity, more understanding, more peace, more fun, more excitement, more um, close. Um, a closer relationship with God and Jesus, understanding more of my own patterns, my own mentality. Um, really appreciating there's so much more to life than just where you are right now. You know, we're not meant to be stagnant and stuck in the same place. We're meant to live beyond our wildest dreams, you know. But if you don't believe to that level, you will never get there. You get what I'm saying? This, But this comes from walking by faith, you know. When you walk by the Spirit and faith, there's no limitation. That doesn't exist in that realm. All things are possible through God who gives you things. All things are possible to you, the person who believes those things are possible for you. You know, some people have a real hard time really letting go of a physical thing, a physical reality, and walking into that unknown, uncomfort zone, that spiritual realm of like all things are possible. You know, all the things you ever want is right is right over the horizon. You have to get up and just go at it. You know, but it's hard for a lot of people for for whatever the reason may be. 
But the more you trust God and the more you understand your journey, the more you become empowered in the truth and what God is revealing to you in his word. This is why I always keep promoting or keep talking about the word because if it wasn't for him in the word, I wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking about like from experience. Like there's just things that will just happen in your life when you begin that journey, that spiritual journey that will blow your mind and, con and will build that um, conviction in your belief in your faith in god that he is real jesus is real his his word is powerful it's holy it's everlasting it's life it's all these beautiful things so this is what i mean understand your journey you know my journey is still continuing every day it's still unfolding blossoming i'm still it, it's just it's just an exciting thing you know don't take it as like oh my god and being afraid you know don't don't listen to the lies you know what i'm saying really trust god really trust that you know, like, okay, God, I'm trusting you with it. I'm going to take a leap of faith, and here we go. You know, because God is our best friend. He's not going to leave you nor forsake you, and he will let you know if you're on the right track or not. You get what I'm saying? It's all about trusting. Just like how you build your relationship with your best friend, with your wife, your husband, your kids, your parents. Same thing with God and Jesus. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not real. You know what I'm saying? Just because you can't um, physically touch them doesn't mean that they don't exist within yourself. You can feel his presence. You can feel his love. You can feel his joy. That's why I encourage all of you to, you know, give God and, and Jesus a fighting chance. Because he would not disappoint you. You know, and I speak this from, from experience. You know, God is so faithful. I mean, it's just thank you, God Almighty. Amen. You know, so understand your journey, your growth, and don't be afraid of it. You know, embrace it. Have fun. Understand yourself, grow yourself, and just be free with God, with Jesus, with yourself, in your goals, your dreams, your life, your family, and just, just let your wings sprout and soar. You know what I'm saying? But like I say in all my videos, I love you. God bless you. I thank you. Um, you already know, take the world by storm. Until my next video, peace.